Okay, this video shows how the communications module works with Inspire. So when I log into the program, the first thing that's going to come up is my list of items for, that are assigned to me. So this top one is recurring journal entries, which is another subject. But right here is all of my to-dos that have been assigned to me. I've got four of them that are assigned and overdue, either due today or overdue. So this is a list of them. You can have a look at them if you know they're complete. You can actually mark them complete by putting completion date here. And if they are, they won't show up in this list again. Uh, but then the user can then click on the communications button and it brings up their list. And I've got mine set to just filter my own. Um, I can unfilter that to see the whole list or just my own. There's no um, security on seeing each other's um, communications or notes but there is security on which modules a person is allowed to see for a note. So if they don't have access to, say, accounts receivable, they won't see any accounts receivable notes. All right, so from this list, I can go through these, and I can uh, open them up and edit them, look at them, look at the notes I kept about them. Um, I can sort these around. I can export these. I can add new notes. But most importantly, I can actually open the source from which the note came from. So I click on the open related button and it opens up the account receivable because you see the module where it was created. And in here, you'll see the note here that got created in the account receivable that uh, tells us we should be following up with this particular customer or in, for this, uh, this note. So if I double click it, it says that Jason says we have a payment for next Friday. If I open up any other one, I hit the open related, it opens up, in this case, the customer. And note that I can work on everything within this. I don't have to leave the to-do list to work on this customer. I can look at their sales history from here. I can look at their accounts receivable from here if I have access. And each one of these, this one's a sale. If I had open related, it opens up the quote that was attached to this. And I can view everything and do everything in this as if I opened up this quote from within the sales order module. So. If a person just has certain tasks throughout the day, then they don't have to go anywhere else in the program to get at them. They can do them all right from this list. Okay, so the places it can be assigned is almost everywhere in the program. Inside of Sales, you go to the Communications tab here, and you can add a communication for this particular sales order. I can go to Sales History, and if somebody, say, wants to repeat an order from in the past, I go to Communications, I add a note to it. Give the subject, say they want to repeat, and they say, you're going to do it six months from now. I look at the date of the, of the invoice, add a due date on it, assign it to myself if it's me that, that's being assigned to, and it then will show up on my to-do list six months from now. Okay? I've got uh, the, this communication button is everywhere, like I said, in the program. Inside Customers, you'll see a Communications tab right here. Um, you can add communications that pop up as well. So if a customer has a warning for, say, AR warning, you can do that put that in there and make it alert. So that is an alert that will pop up when I add this customer to a sales order. And I can add a note about this of why it's being popped up. Uh, if I don't assign it to anybody, it'll pop up for everybody. Okay. Within inventory, for instance, if you want to add a note, say you're going to pick some stock and you go to look and you find that you're supposed to have one on hand, but you can't find it. Uh, you can assign a note to this in here under communications to the warehouse manager it says, you know, do a count on this, this product. We seem to be missing one of them. See if you can figure out where it went to or whatever. Assign it to that person. Give it a due date, and it will show up on their to-do list. Okay, same side of purchase orders inside of, um, inside of the production. In, in, um, anywhere throughout the program, you can add a communications note. So it's not a, a full CRM, but it gives you that kind of a CRM capabilities that's really, really tightly integrated inside the program to give you uh, access to follow-ups and notes and things that should never be forgotten, and you don't have to keep them on an external list.